What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. And today we found an awesome Newmar Dutch Star 4311. I'm a huge fan of this 4311 floor plan because this has the Braun Mobility wheelchair lift. This coach really is special to me because uh, my mom is actually in a wheelchair and my parents recently bought a Winnebago handicapped accessible RV that they've really been enjoying. And this Newmar Dutch Star is a great opportunity for someone to be able to go and travel the country. And I've got to really tip my hat to Newmar and their parent company, Winnebago, for creating these RVs that are wheelchair accessible, making it possible for folks in a wheelchair to be able to RV. So let's take a closer look at this coach. This coach has offered for $399,999. This is gonna be on the Freightliner chassis, and I love the exterior paint scheme with the black, gray, and silver, and it's got that stainless across the bottom as well as the chrome door handles. Everything is just detailed out here at the Motor Coach store. This has been fully paint corrected. This Dutch Star does have the higher roof profile awnings there that will come over the patio there. You're gonna notice cameras all around this coach. When we go inside, it does have the 360 camera system, but let's take a look at some of these bays. So the bay doors were locked, but we can just hit this button right here. Baggage door on lock. Now we can take a look inside. It also does have the code entry feature. And looking forward to showing you guys inside this coach is absolutely beautiful. So bay one is gonna have a Dometic cooler on a slide out tray. All super clean. Bay two is gonna be a manual slide out tray. Got a good sized lip there as well to hold your stuff into place. So bay three, it looks like there is a wheelchair uh, accessory here, but you can see this is a pass-through bay with no slide out tray. So you get a little bit more height of storage. Bay three is gonna be a good sized pull-out tray. Now it's not quite a full pass-through bay because we do have some components over there that we'll look at on the other side. But here's a couple extra chairs for the dinette. These are on that manual pull-out tray. And you do have outlets in this bay as well. Now in a moment, we're gonna open up this wheelchair lift here and I'll give you guys a peek here. That opens up and really awesome how this operates. The Braun Ability lift is the same lift you're gonna see in the Newell coaches. Here's your outside entertainment bay. You've got outlets and USB ports out here, as well as a Sony TV and a Bose sound bar. You can swivel that from your dash radio or your TV if you just wanna throw on the dash radio and listen to music out here. Check out how clean these wheels are, just spotless. Everything about this coach is just glowing. And this is on the Freightliner chassis, so it is gonna have that tag axle that does have the passive steer. There's your DEF reservoir. There's your chassis batteries, battery disconnect. So this has got the Cummins 450 in it, and you can see just a beast 450 horsepower. It's so clean here. Everything at the motor coach store is spotless. I love the 2019 Dutch Star styling with kind of an aggressive look to it. And this is a side radiator coach, so we were able to get to all that engine stuff. Here's your DEF fill from this side, so you can fill up from the same side you're usually fueling up on at a truck stop. This little spot here is gonna be a spot to store your sewer hose. Got its own little compartment out of the way here. Here's a look at that plumbing bay, all super clean. Does have a power hose reel water filter. You can switch your water pump on and off out here. An outdoor shower. It does have a macerator toilet. There's your sewage wrench. Everything is very clean in this coach. There's your central vac, and this is the other side of that, the bay that has a slide out tray there. And you have a power 50 amp cord reel, as well as the surge guard power protection system. Cable inlet there. 
Here's your Oasis hydronic heating. Then here's the other side of that storage bay without the tray in it. And this is gonna be that pass-through bay with the full slide-out tray, so this will come out both ways manually. Here's the house battery bank. Just pull this right here and that generator will pop out. There's a look at that Cummins Onan 10,000 generator. And it looks like it has just under 500 hours on it. So I just turned the generator on. It's a hot day here in Florida. So I want you to hear what it's like with the generator going inside. We've got the ACs running as well. So this is what the coach looks like with the slide outs in. You can see you could still get through it very easily. And let's show you how this uh, handicap accessible lift works here. And then we're gonna show you the rest of the coach in a moment. Let's open this up here and show you how it works. It's got this big door right here and look at the size of that hinge there. We're just gonna turn this lift power on. Yeah, it came back up here because the remote is up here, but that could also be set down there as well. But with the remote up here, we're just gonna press the unfold here first. And then now that that's in place, we're gonna press the down button. And you can see there's that ramp at the bottom there as well to keep the wheelchair from rolling off. And this is very industrial, very smooth. There's not all kinds of squeaking or clanking. And boom, you, as you saw when it went down there, that ramp folded down and you'd be able to lift off there and there is a little emergency feature here if you were going to try to roll out while the lift was down when you put some weight on this you could see that beeps to prevent you from rolling off there here's a look at that door very wide door too if you needed to get stuff in and out of the coach you've got a second opening just to get stuff to the refrigerator or whatnot. So you can see there's another spot to hook your remote down here, but let's see how this works while I'm on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this with all my weight on it. I believe this is an 800 pound lift. Boom, and then now it's set up to roll right into the coach. Hold this up. Boom. So with the slide outs in, we can see there's plenty of room here. Um, and as we go back into the shower, there's still plenty of room as well. But let's get these slide outs out. And I wanna show you the whole coach here. Plenty of room here. And shout out to Eddie, uh, making these coaches detailed up. Let's go to Andrew. Eddie's the guy responsible for making all these coaches sparkle. How, how's your day going today, sir? So far, so good. It's getting warm down here in Bradenton already. Yes, sir. You guys got some nice coaches coming and going? Absolutely. All the time, every day. We're super busy. We appreciate you, buddy. We appreciate you, Andrew. Thanks. Coming up to the cockpit area here, you can see some of the lights here. This does have floor heat for the living room. You've got high, medium, and low all of your lighting controls. Your passenger does have a wireless charging port, as well as this tray that will fold up as a laptop tray or dinner tray, cup holder, map lights, a step cover as well. Just press this button. And that'll come up for your passenger and then you can, And you can fold that up. You've got your little cup holder here and then another cup holder. Really a nice area for your passenger. And then the driver's cockpit on the Freightliner chassis, Cummins 450. The driver has a wireless charging port as well as two cup holders, your Allison gear selector. You've got your backup cameras here and then a digital display. I'll fire this up here. So look at that backup camera, then your Sirius XM radio controls. Up front is gonna be our control panel here. I'll put this slide out, out.
And you can see how that drops down into place. So this doesn't have any carpet. It's got a flat floor here. This is a triple slide out coach. And this is with the one slide out being out up front here. Really like the styling in this coach with these beautiful ceiling treatments that not only look great, but also keep the sound down. Then a very simple floor plan with your couch across from your fireplace. There is a TV on a televator here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a seat over here and just press this button right here. And then boom, you've got your TV above your fireplace, all next to the kitchen. And you'll notice the countertop height and the height of all the switches are all accessible from a wheelchair. So, so as we get a closer look here, you've got all of your ceiling lights, your dinette lights, your fan controls. And I love the cabinetry. You've got a Fisher Paykel dishwasher, a true induction cooktop. And these will double as a cutting board when you take off these cooktop covers. And then this will also come outside and just plug into 110 there. So if you're gonna cook, cook something that might stink up your RV, you could take this outside and use this outside. Dual sink covers for this very large sink. And then a good amount of cabinet space here. There's your original Numar owner's manuals. There's your VIN number. The gross vehicle weight of this coach is 51,000 pounds. And you have a vent here with a fan. More storage adjustable shelving all very clean inside of this coach these are stowed for travel right now but these will actually come out and be used as ottomans and then they also have storage as well so those are flex steel furniture they could be used as ottomans you can also flip that over and there's a hard surface here so really cool little ottomans and then when you're going to travel you can just stow them under your dinette there now this dinette will actually come out even more just lift that up. And then we saw those two extra chairs in the base. So you could see four here comfortably. And then I'll also notice how much room is around this table if someone in a wheelchair wanted to sit here. Now they're also thinking about folks that are working on the road here. You can see you've got outlets and USB ports and extra countertop space over here, as well as your table. But when you pull this out, this could be utilized as a keyboard tray. So if you put a computer monitor right here, You've got a little spot to run your cords and then a little storage below here. And you also do have storage up top here, all extremely clean. So we do have the shades closed right now over here, but those all can be opened by the press of a button. And I want to point out we've got outlets over here, uh, more outlets with USB ports. Again, outlets with USB ports over here. So they're really thinking for your charging needs. This coach does have 150 gallon diesel fuel tanks. So you can really put down a lot of miles without having to stop and fuel up. This coach also has 105 gallon fresh water tank, 65 gallon gray and 45 gallon blacks. So plenty of tank capacity to do some dry camping if needed. Going back into the galley here, you do have a good amount of drawer space as well as some storage here below the sink and a little slide out tray for your trash or recycle. And you've got two storage bin if you wanna store cleaning supplies or whatnot. There's a Fisher Paykel dishwasher. And then the microwave is at a more accessible level as well. And then here's your breaker panel. So I like that that's a little bit easier to get to. And then storage with adjustable shelving here above the microwave. You're gonna have your Whirlpool residential refrigerator across from the Braun mobility lift. And you do have a little curtain here too. If you just wanna pull that aside and kind of keep the lift out of the way while you're living in the coach. If you don't want to look at it all the time. A little bit of storage or a good amount of storage here above your refrigerator that's very deep, very large. And then you do have a washer dryer here, stackable Whirlpool washer and dryer. And then your central vac hookups down here. You can lift that up, and broom everything in there. and Or you can open this up, your attachments to that and use the different central vac attachments. Now, the big plus about this coach is gonna be the roll-in shower. So when we open this up here, you can notice a wheelchair can very easily roll into this shower 
and it's a very large shower. You have your handicap grab rail there, as well as the seat right here that will fold down. And then I think this is more of an aftermarket deal, but you can see here that built-in seat will fold down and that's in very good condition. And then a very open floor plan with your sink right across from the shower where you could easily roll up a wheelchair here in the lower level countertop. Beautiful finish in that cream color. And then your lighting controls and your bathroom floor heating controls here. Controls for the vent as well. Medicine cabinet, all super clean. You do have outlets inside the medicine cabinet. I like the styling they use in this coach, all the cool little touches. And then plenty of room around your head with the grab handle next to your head, as well as another grab handle over here. And then storage behind your head there up top as well. Now there is a pocket door here where we could close off the bathroom very easily in a beautiful door with that frosted glass. Then going into the rear bedroom here, a lot of room where you could get a wheelchair next to the bed or in front of the bed and then a good amount of drawer space here nine different drawers with the different levels like the hardware they used and a good amount of countertop space and outlets you do have a sony tv here cabinets more storage up top and then next to your bed you're going to have a wardrobe closet that's going to be really easy to access even when the slide outs are in and then storage above here all very clean and then more storage for pillows or whatnot above your bed again in the wrapper this is where normally a washer dryer would be but you could use this as more hanging space there for wardrobe or it has adjustable shelving in there right now and then you have a closet across the back of the coach as well with a safe hidden back there and some shoe cubbies so really a lot of hanging space when you look at the back of the closet here you could use this as hanging space and then a good amount of wardrobe in there as well and i like that you've got the full length mirror there as well one of the biggest advantages of this coach is it's available here at the motor coach store in bradenton florida the motor coach store is a boutique type operation that goes through these coach on another level above any dealership I've seen in the country. Everything from their detail process to their PDI process to their delivery process is second to none. When you purchase this coach, you can have a trained technician spend a day with you going over the entire coach, teaching you how to operate everything. You can even camp the night in the coach here and overnight and make sure that you understand the coach completely. And the PDI process here is second to none. They're gonna test every wireless charging port. They're gonna make sure water boils on the convection oven. They have a satellite receiver to make sure that the satellite TV is working. So they're really gonna go through this coach and make sure it's dialed in for you. And there's a lot of value to that because sometimes when you buy a coach brand new, you need to put about 12,000 miles on it to kind of shake out the bugs and then have someone like the motor coach store go through and really tighten everything up. So in my opinion, really a lot of value in purchasing this 2019 Dutch Star here at the motor coach store. And this coach just got fully detailed and fully paint corrected. So everything about it is just spotless. This coach really just glows. So this coach has just over 13,000 miles on it. So if you are a serious buyer, contact Bradley Twait at the Motor Coach Store. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. I greatly appreciate Brad and the team at the Motor Coach Store. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.